Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Tableau interview questions for Goldstone. But before we start, let us thank our subscriber who has shared us these questions. And I encourage all of those who are actively taking interviews, please share us your questions so that that can be of help to other, other job seekers. Okay, so let us get started. So again, this, is this, this interview happened in July. And uh, the questions are like uh, something new other than what we have seen till now. So stay tuned and watch and watch the video completely. So the first question was about data preparation. So the interviewer here was you know keen in knowing if you have ever prepared data, prepared any data, like data modeling we call. So in real time, the term is data modeling like uh, uh, generally you know database team works uh, towards creating a, a sophisticated data set that can be used for tableau for reporting purpose or there there might be some tableau developers who will be working directly with the data to create as an extract and they will be sharing that extract with us and we can use that extract for our reporting purpose so this role of that uh, you know the one who is creating extract is called as a data modeling okay so what do we do here we prepare our data according to customers requirement like all our data cleansing activity or our data aggregation activities data splitting activity renaming aliasing hiding of columns, all of that activity that we do comes under this data preparation. So you can talk about this. If at all, you get this kind of generic question here, or you can tell simply tell that, okay, no, I haven't worked on that. Okay. So have you prepared any views here? So generally, you know, whenever we are working with multiple tables, okay. So what do we do here? We either create joins on top of that, or bringing data from different or we'll write custom sql to get data from multiple tables so here what we can do is we can ask our database team to create a view on top of this multiple tables and give us that view and we can use that view as our primary source and we can directly fetch data from that. So you can answer this if at all you have, you can tell that if at all you, you have created view, you can answer about that. If not, you can just tell what is view and how in which scenarios we can go for view option. At least if you answer this type, then I think it should be good enough to give you a mark on that. So here next question was, how do you improve uh, a dashboard performance when the data is 20 crore rows. So here the interviewer is wanting us to understand or analyze, you know, how we can tune the performance. So what we need to identify here is, is there any way that we can limit the data? That is the first thing that we can try to do. Limit the data I means suppose if there are 10 years of data, data in that. So do we need all of that data or we is, uh, can we filter some part of that data? So applying filter on data to limit that, or we can create extract. We can limit number of columns of table we can get in only what we need so in that way also we can improve the performance of our uh, data or dashboard sorry so you need to take care of all of these activities and with respect to dashboard performance what else we can add here is like first thing is uh, removing unwanted calculations okay second is uh, deleting all the unused worksheets so like uh, often it happens that you know whenever we are in developer development phase of our project 
we tend to create multiple sheets but while uh, you know, publishing it to production we might not need all of that so we need to identify that type of worksheets which are not being used but still they are present in the uh, tableau okay so we can delete that kind of unused worksheets and uh, we can also uh, remove unwanted fields from tableau workbook okay or use uh, only required columns try to use integer calculations than string because integer performs faster compared to string and then try to uh, use tableau's built-in functionality rather than writing lengthy calculation okay so we can consider all of these points while trying to optimize uh, all of uh, performance of our tableau dashboard okay and next is what are relationships so i mean recently with the one of the major releases that tableau had they brought in one new concept in tableau that is relationships okay in tableau and i am observing this change where you know interviewer is focusing more on this question relationship and logical layer or physical layer so there are uh, so i'm going to add one more here physical layer so physical layer we can consider it, it as a layer where the actual join between multiple table takes place so that is the that is our traditional method where we go manually and we'll try to bring in multiple tables and you know uh, join them with respect to some column and condition so that is our physical join but relationships means like ha it is like a contract between multiple tables so it makes the work of you know tableau very easy to get the data from multiple tables you know connect them with them and also based on some you know the common column that we have it identifies and it establishes a relationship and then it is ready to move okay so that is a relationship so and that layer is called as a logical layer here because logically we are connected but we are not joining it like how we do join at physical layer that is the difference between uh, our logical layer and a physical layer so if you are new to this concepts maybe we need to go to tableau and learn more about you know how this works in detail but if you, at least if you are able to answer what we discussed just now then i think it should be good in good enough uh, in tableau so what are the different options that we get while publishing the reports onto the server so you can explain the process of publishing the report to the server here nothing just go to tableau server and click on first you need to sign in and then click on publish so once you publish it shows you different options like where you need to publish and what is the name of the report uh, what are, to which user you want to give permission or how do you want to embed password so it it gives you information about all of that and then that you can explain here your so report name second is uh, report location third is uh, permission and server details and sorry and password related thing here like do you want to embed password or something like that so that options you can explain him whenever you are answering this kind of question here next is what is the limitation of extract again you can specify what is the limitation of extract again this is a very old question and a very uncommon question limitation of extract so here we can specify what is the file limited the file size that tableau supports 
uh, that we can specify here and we can talk about that and uh, next is have you faced any difficulties while publishing the published data source so again like one a very generic question you can answer it as no if if you are answering it as yes then make sure you have an answer for that but if you you really want to skip this question you can definitely answer it as no and maybe we'll go to the next question so next question was how you create 100 users in server so there are two options of how we can create a user uh, in server that is you need to click on add user option and then you need to specify email address of the student or whoever the user is or else you can import it from 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 file so you need to have uh, create one file with comma delimiter like say username at gmail.com comma username one at gmail.com so like that you need to create a file which has a list of all the users and directly upload that using this option imported on from file so two ways using you 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 can do that so because we have 100 users uh, the suggested method is using it import from file okay next is how is the structure of that 100 users file so that we have discussed it here in the above so how do you use lods in the project so uh, rather i'm thinking you know have you used lods in your project or you can talk about few of the LODs uh, now that you have used in your project or if at all you have not used at least you can tell uh, define uh, what is LOD how many types of uh, LODs are there and their usage so you can talk about all of that in this 12th answer I think we have discussed this above in our previous sessions as well so one complex dashboard again one generic question that is being asked every time so you can have one ready-made answer ready for this type of question one complex dashboard or one dashboard anything it can be or it can be your last dashboard same thing for all of them you can have one common answer ready okay again it depends on how you want to answer here but you can talk about one dashboard that you have created okay so how much time will it take for one schedule so how do first thing is how do you schedule report so if at all you know that you can just tell how we can go and schedule the report and how much time does it take okay so it should not take more than 10 to 15 minutes to schedule a report here just go to the server click on that uh, report which you want to schedule and just click on schedule that's it so what to do if i want to complete the schedule in five one schedule in five minutes so here he is asking the schedule time so maybe i think so that is what i'm trying to understand from this question like i want to complete the schedule in one schedule in five minutes so basically he wants to finish the job in uh, in five minutes so uh, the runtime of any job depends on the server availability and capability so mostly you know and the data size that it is trying to fetch so if it is not finishing you need to check you know your query your database and you know and why it is taking a uh, no long time so based uh, like this you can answer you this question okay so difference between rank and dense rank again very important from your sql perspective also we need to understand how rank identifies so the difference here is basically with the multiple values like suppose i have same value and how does rank and dense rank uh, you know rate uh, give the numbers for that okay suppose if i have repeated values uh, rank will give one two two and because i have repeated values next rank rank will be four okay but if it is a denser rank it gives like this one two two and three it will not skip your number whereas rank will skip that number because it will assume that this is technically a three but it is showing us two because the number is or the value is same here so that difference is there between rank and dense rank so this is also important with respect to your sql they might ask you there also 
okay so remember this question next is ytd calculation so along this with this ytd calculation y o year over year growth is also very important calculation so these two things you need to remember in real time because often we try to compute you know year till date growth so ytd is nothing but year so in question only we have year till date growth so for this current year till today how much is the growth that we want to find okay so this is the formula that we can do so first we need to find out how much of sales we have done till today so for that this calculation you can use and you can find it out so what am i doing first i am trying to get into today so i am considering today as my base and in that from that i am trying to get my year and i am making sure that difference is zero which means it is for current year and i'm taking all of those days which are less than today which means for current year all the days less than today then if it is this condition is true then give me sales so that is the calculation i'm trying to write okay so what is tsm again this is a tableau server and uh, tsm is again tableau uh, what you call uh, server command basically so which is basically used to activate uh, some of the functions at server level so if you know you can uh, answer this or else you can just ignore that and then some questions related to your extracts and next is uh, how to use analytics pane so analytics pane is mostly uh, used to use analytical functions like if i go to uh, our worksheet here i have analytics option so if at all i want to use reference lines or i want to create some constant or average line or i want to create a trend line in that kind of cases i will go to this analytical option to create those okay so i think that's it from my side in this video i hope you find this video useful if you find it useful please like share and subscribe thank you have a good day bye bye